There were a ton of comedy announcements. We'll get to that, but first, late night. Hi, I'm Johnny Mack with your daily comedy news. Mike Pence announced he is still loyal to Donald Trump. Trevor Noah said, staying loyal after he sent a mob to kill you? Man, that shows how committed Mike Pence is to his principles. He won't even abort a friendship. Kimmel, I believe Mike Pence has spent the last month doing a little something called weighing his options and found that it would be better to be friends with Donald Trump. And Kimmel, you know what would be fun? If I were Donald Trump, I would announce that I need a kidney and I'd make all these guys, Lindsey Graham, Rudy, Mike Pence, I'd make them all give me one kidney to choose which one I like best. Colin Jost was on Seth Meyers to promote a children's movie. Jost was telling a story. Meyers interrupted and said, hey, this is pretty rare, but we just got some news. Andy Samberg has reached out. He wants you to check your phone just now. Jost had been zooming from his camera, so he had to turn his video off as he read Samberg's incoming text messages, which were, hey, are you on with Seth right now for your interview? Reminder to turn off alerts on your laptop. If you don't turn off alerts, it will keep popping up and interrupting. Can be very annoying. As Jost read Sandberg's ridiculous text out loud to Myers, more came in. Anyway, I hope you're getting these in real time so it doesn't become annoying if someone texts you while it's happening. Might be bad TV. Nielsen ratings could get screwy. The next one. Full disclosure, on peyote right now, don't be mad. Dick pic? <laughs> Seth had to interrupt and say, is he asking you if you want one or is he asking you to send one? Sandberg's reply, get or send. Sounds like a very, very funny bit. All right, the announcements from Variety. Frasier is coming back to Paramount+. Plus. Paramount+, Plus announced a whole bunch of things. From Variety, original series star Kelsey Grammer will return in the title role, I would hope so if you're bringing back Frasier, in addition to executive producing. Kelsey Grammer said, I gleefully anticipate sharing the next chapter in the continuing story of Dr. Frasier Crane. At this time, as I record, no Niles, no Daphne, no anybody. So far, it's just Frasier. All right. Also on Paramount Plus, Inside Amy Schumer will be back, baby, with five specials. That show has not aired since 2016. There was another season. Yeah, it says here, Schumer was still under contract to produce additional episodes at the time she walked away from the show as her movie career heated up. Remember her big movie career? Yeah, she was in, you know, that movie and that other movie and huge movie career. So Inside Amy Schumer will be back. This next one is interesting. The Weekly Show with Trevor Noah. That will feature Trevor Noah in a six-episode run, also on Paramount+. Plus. He will produce it. Noah explores stories across the societal landscape and talk with people behind the headlines. All right. Reno 911, The Hunt for QAnon. Reno 911 will not die. Reno 911 was on Quibi. You didn't see it because nobody saw it because it was on Quibi. But now it's back again, baby. This time described as a, quote, supersized event, unquote, based on the original comedy series. And a movie based on the Comedy Central series Workaholics has been greenlit for Paramount+. Plus. The original cast is all back there. On Audible, they've announced a whole bunch of comedy podcasts. One stars Pete Davidson, one stars Bowen Yang. Hit Job is a 12-episode show about an aspiring artist desperate to find work to help her ailing grandmother. As a last resort, she takes a job as an administrative assistant at a company with the motto, do bad things for good reasons, joining forces with her awkward tech nerd co-worker Geo, played by Pete Davidson. She unexpectedly gets swept up into a company-wide contest in which having a killer job takes on an entirely different meaning. That show is called Hit Job. I think we can figure out what happens there. Big cast here, including Brooke Shields, Bobby Moynihan, Natasha Leone, and Tom Bergeron. That's all random. Pete Davidson said, when you listen to Hit Job, you might remember what it was like to work in an office, but you definitely won't be able to relate to what happens at this workplace. At least I hope not. The other series is Hot White Heist. That'll be out on June 17th, six half-hour episodes. Bowen Yang is joined by an ensemble of openly queer performers, including Cynthia Nixon, Abby Jacobson, Jane Lynch, Margaret Cho, and others. In Hot White Heist, a group of LGBTQIA plus contemporaries attempt to steal the U.S. government's sperm bank deposits from some of history's most brilliant minds in the hopes of selling the genetic material on the black market to buy an island for a new queer paradise. Bowen Yang said it's been a very special honor to lead the cast of Hot White Heist and act alongside queer performers who have admired so much. The series will be a funny, capery thrill to listen to when it debuts during Pride 2021. I'd like to take this opportunity to announce that I am gay. There are even more deals from Variety. Ronnie Chang struck a deal with Netflix for three upcoming projects, two new stand-up specials, 
and a docu-style comedy special. That docu-comedy special is described as, quote, a semi-scripted road trip comedy in which Ronnie Chang and his fellow comedian David Fung journey through a one-of-a-kind tour of America's Chinatowns to promote local businesses, explore Asian-American culture, and push each other to the limits of brotherly love-slash-hate relationship. No dates yet on the specials. I'm still upset about Mrs. Krabappel. I know this is ridiculous, but something about Mrs. Krabappel died at age 41 is bothering me. I don't know why. I went on the interwebs to grab a picture of Mrs. Krabappel to put on the Instagram page, which is at Daily Comedy News, as you know. And that brought me to Wikipedia. Now, Wikipedia lists her as Edna Krabappel hyphen Flanders. So maybe I was completely wrong yesterday when I said she didn't hyphenate her name. Maybe she is Mrs. Krabappel Flanders. Who knows? S. Bart. But yeah, we're going to talk about The Simpsons for what? Fourth day in a row now? I can tell you we won't talk about it tomorrow because I already taped tomorrow. Creator Matt Groening spoke with the BBC on Tuesday. They asked him about new actors taking on some of the roles, including, we learned this week, uh, Dr. Hibbard will no longer be voiced by Harry Shearer. Groening said he hadn't seen the need to recast the part, saying, Times change, but I didn't actually have a problem with the way we were doing it. All of our actors played dozens of characters each. It was never designed to exclude anyone. When asked if he regretted the show's initial defensiveness toward the criticism leveled at it, following the documentary The Problem with Apu, he responded, At a certain point, it doesn't matter what you say. You're going to be attacked by whoever you know. We're not going out of our way to comfort bigots. On the other hand, if you do any kind of gesture and people perceive a weakness, you'll be criticized. Very interesting there. And that's your comedy news for today. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, well, I'll tell you what. I got up this morning and I opened up the Donuts Chain app. And it wasn't taking orders. If you didn't buy me a coffee, that was fine because I didn't get one. That's why I'm not as hyped as I was yesterday. But if you like what I do here and you'd like to support the show, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash daily comedy news. And there's a members only episode posted there. Yeah, you got to be one of the people that bought me a coffee. And if you want to hear the bonus episode where I talk about sitcoms turned cartoons like the Brady Kids, Fonz and the Happy Days Gang, they're traveling through space with shortcake and a UFO. If you want to hear that, buymeacoffee.com slash daily comedy news. Instagram is at daily comedy news. And tomorrow's a normal episode. Sunday's also a normal episode. Sometime on Sunday, I will announce who won the big battle between John Mulaney and Adam Sandler. Voting is now closed. You missed out. You had all week. You can vote next week. But Catahoua Dog got a comment in saying, Mulaney, can't say it'll be Mulaney all the way through. I'm still waiting for some of my favorites. I will take uh, recommendations. Were John Mulaney to win the week and you'd like to match him up against somebody, let me know on the page or at Twitter at DCN Pod. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.